Welcome to Great Bear Tales, an authentic look at the people, places, and stories of the Great Bear Rainforest. Subscribe, like, leave a comment below. It's nearly a pristine system, and it's, uh, it's got all five salmon species, plus steelhead and a number of trout species. A couple of hours' drive from Rupert lands one on the Nass River, a fabled angling stretch running 240 miles from saltwater to coast mountains. Traditional territory of the Niska Nation, Nass fisheries utilize historic fishing wheels to count salmon returning upriver. Fish wheels were thought to have originated in Japan or China back in the 1500s and then came over to North America to the Carolinas in the early 1800s, uh, moved out west to Oregon and um, then up to Alaska for the gold rush to help feed the miners. The Niska Nation had seen the use of them and thought that they'd be a great tool for uh, our assessment purposes, and we have two perfect locations here. It's, it's a great way to catch and release, so you're not harming any fish in the process. And we've been using them here for that purpose since 1992. It's amazing. I enjoy uh, working with, uh, with the fish wheels and the fishery program. My heart's with uh, with the mass of the Niska people. They take a great deal of pride in the program that they've created and, and maintained over 26 years. That um, you, you'd be hard pressed to go up or down the Nass Valley and talk to a Niska citizen who doesn't know something about our program. The whole culture revolves around this river and the resources that it provides. Thanks for watching Great Bear Tales. If you have any comments, questions, tips for visitors, or just want to share your own story from the Great Bear Rainforest, please leave them below. We read every post. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to Great Bear Tales channel. It really does make a difference.